This Mi-8 helicopter of the Afghan Air Force, which was newly constituted after the collapse of the Taliban regime on November the 12th, 2001, has an unusual passenger on board, who is on a journey of remembrance. The passenger is Najibullah Khan, personal chauffeur of the late commander Ahmed Shah Massoud, also known as the Lion of Panjshir and perhaps the most exceptional Afghan of the 20th century, who was assassinated on September the 9th, 2001, allegedly by agents of Osama bin Laden. The helicopter is flying across the vast Shamali plain northwest of Kabul, towards the foothills of the Hindu Kush mountain range of bald, unforgiving cliffs that plunge steeply into the raging Panjshir Valley below. Wherever the mountains slope more gently, there the narrow snake-like valley erupts in lush, wavy green fields with houses and crops on either side of the riverbed. The helicopter lands on the valley floor just below Massoud's ancestral home in Jangalak, almost exactly halfway up the valley where the water is at its calmest. Masood was born in this mud brick house in 1953. Today, Najibullah is collecting a bouquet of flowers from the terrace garden behind the house to place on Masood's grave, which is a couple of minutes away by helicopter. For Najibullah, this is a very emotional experience to carry flowers from his master's garden to place on his master's grave. It was Najibullah who ran into the room when Masood was fatally injured in a bomb blast and carried his inert body to the helicopter that flew him to the closest hospital in neighboring Tajikistan, where he was pronounced dead. The bright sun has brilliantly brought out all the colors of the valley in a sharp focus. The green domed roof of Masood's grave, on top of the hill of Saricha in the Panjshir, is now regarded almost as a shrine. It is strategically located on a bend in the Panjshir River and has panoramic views on every side. Najibullah alights from the helicopter, clutching his bouquet, and is greeted by the caretakers and guards of the shrine. The moment is emotional and poignant as Najibullah places the bouquet on the grave and invites Javed, a former aide of Masood, to join him and read Fateha to pray for the departed soul. این ملک آزاد در باور تو آزاد اگر دید از لشکر تو Soon, a crowd collects as Najibullah and Javed and the film crew leave Saricha by helicopter, departing with the thoughts that Afghanistan is today free because Masood paid for it with his life. Well, I, uh, I have a few memories of him. Uh, I considered him uh, to be a very patriotic Afghan. Um, uh, when uh, the parties began to fight each other and uh, uh, the Taliban came, and I recognized the nature of the Taliban and their, their designs or their backers' designs, whatever, 
the combination of it. And Afghanistan had begun to uh, get a lot more in touch with um, uh, Ahmad Shah Massoud, the late, and uh, exchanged views with him. Mm -hmm. Entirely supported his his uh, uh, resistance uh, to this uh, creeping invasion of Afghanistan. Uh, one thing that was very similar between uh, us was the exactness of opinions on what was going on in Afghanistan. He, I shared absolutely his, his, his views on the nature of uh, things in Afghanistan and as to who was behind the troubles in Afghanistan. And he shared exactly the same uh, uh, opinion. And his advice to me uh, turned out to be very, very right. He said, well, don't you ever go to an urban area. There, as strong as you may be, you'll find it difficult because there is lots of foreign hand with the Taliban and their intelligence and all that. They will find you and they'll make it difficult. They'll make people suffer. Go to the mountains. And uh, that's exactly what I did. But sadly, uh, when I did that, he wasn't there. Mm. So the last time I spoke to him was about a week for five days a week before um, uh, his assassination.